everybody and welcome to Lindsay's Little Library. So it's July and it's gonna be booktube -a like in a matter of weeks. Super super excited for booktube -a booktube -a is the first readathon I participated in. I started my channel the beginning of last year so I was very young at that time as far as the age of my channel. Not me, I am not young. No. Um, and it was kind of my first time really jumping in and participating with the community and um, playing along with experiencing a what a readathon really was. Um, I did a vlog every day. It was super super fun, and I probably had the best time up until then as far as my channel goes. So, of course, I am going to jump in and play along again this year. So what is Booktubeathon? Booktubeathon is a readathon that is happening starting July 30th through August 5th. Basically, it is a time, it's a week dedicated to reading as much as you possibly can. Um, you can participate in as much of Booktubeathon activities or as little Booktubeathon activities as you want to. There are video challenges and Instagram challenges and obviously book challenges that are all out there. Um, there's an amazing host. Her name is Ariel Bissett. I will leave a link to her channel below. Check her out. She does a phenomenal job running this readathon. So if you need more information as far as what all of the challenges are about or Booktubeathon in general, check out her channel and um, she'll explain everything way better than I do. So what I'm going to go through today is my TBR pile for Bookshubathon. There are seven challenges. I have a book for all of them. I've never read seven books in a week. Um, I'm not going to lie about this. I don't have high hopes. But July 30th to August 5th, I only work like two days that week. But I have off of work because um, my husband and I own a small business and that is kind of our busy crazy time. So I take off of my day job to work this other job, but this other job gives me a lot of opportunity to listen to audiobooks. So we'll see what happens, right? Okay, challenge number one is to let a coin decide your first read. So I have The Husband's Wife by Jane Corey and The Marsh King's Daughter by Karen Dion. Dion? Not sure. Um, this one has a head on it, so I'll give this one heads. This one will be tails. These are both psych psychological thrillers that I'm super excited to read. So we will see. Here's the coin. See, I'm never good at this. It's tails. So I'm going to pick up the Marsh King's daughter. This, I believe, is about a woman who is abducted, kidnapped. Um, and kept in a remote cabin up in Michigan's UP up in the Upper Peninsula, which I am a matter of hours from that. Um, I believe she has a kid with them. I'm not sure. I don't care. So it's going to be great. I've heard great things. So I like to go in blind to those books anyways. Challenge number two is to read a book about something you want to do. And I'm going to pick up The High Season by Judy Blundell. This follows Ruthie and she owns a really amazing house. Um, on a quiet Long Island village, two ferry rides from the Hamptons. And so in order to kind of keep this house, because I would love, love to own a house on a beach. In order to keep this house, though, she has to rent it out every summer. So she can't live in it while it's in its glory. So it talks about um, her struggle with seeing another family living in her house during the high season, the interactions she has with all of these people that basically flood her little village for the summer. Um, it sounds really good. Challenge number three is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. So I have Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. My husband and I have been really wanting to see this movie lately and I refuse. I will not see the movie until I read the book. So here we go. I'm gonna definitely read this even though it is in... Oh, mass market paperback. Thank you, book outlet. But that's okay. It'll be fine. I can handle it. It's not that bad. But we'll go with it. Challenge number four is to read a book with green on the cover. So I'm going to pick up The Simplicity of Cider by Amy Reichart. Amy Reichart just, um, I just read a book by her called The Coincidence of Coconut Cake, which is this, oh, it's such a sweet, awesome, definitely a foodie book if you are a food lover. Pick that one up. Um, all of Amy's books, she's a Wisconsin author, they're all set in Wisconsin. This one takes place in Door County. I don't really care what it's about. It's going to be a great summer read. Plus, it's Door County, which is an amazing, beautiful, beautiful place to go to. Um, again, not far from where I am, so I can easily picture 
kind of what's going on. Challenge number five is to read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. Hence my hat. This is my favorite go-to hat for the summer. Um, Pete's Garage is by far one of my favorite places to go to. They have the best, the best bar food. That's all I have to say. So my book I'm going to pick up for this is Eleanor Oliphant. It's Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Um, if you haven't heard about this, here we go. Um, Eleanor is, is a little quirky, a little strange. Some people refer to her as kind of like Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. Um, and she's trying to kind of make her way. She's also a drunk. It sounds like she drinks. She likes, what is it? Her whiskey? I'm not sure. But she likes to drink. Um, so she meets Raymond, a bumbling and deeply unhygienic IT guy from her office. When she and Raymond together save Sammy, an elderly gentleman who has fallen, the three re rescue one another from their lives of isolation that they have been living. So I've heard really good things about it. I've heard it's a little slow in the beginning, but that's all right. Um, I'm sure it'll pick up after that. Challenge number six is to read a book with a beautiful spine. This is kind of hard because the book I'm reading right now has a gorgeous spine. Thought about cheating, but I won't. I'm not going to. I'll be good. Um, so as I was looking through my bookshelves and just really scanning for pretty spines, I saw The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, which not only has a beautiful spine, but look at this. So pretty. So, so pretty. Um, I believe this is about witches. Um, so the Swan Sisters are in Oregon in 1822. I believe, are they... They are executed for their witchcraft and they place a curse on the town that I believe during a full moon, is it, is this the one where, I won't spoil it, but I know it's about witches, I've heard great things, we're going to read that one. And then book number, or challenge number seven is to read seven books. I only have six here, so here's my seventh. Roses by Lila McCam. Now this is huge, right? You're thinking, Lindsay, what are you doing to yourself? But last year during Book Tubathon, I listened to my first Lila McCann book. I, re I listened to Tumbleweeds, which was an amazing book to listen to. Um, so I've already scouted out Roses is Available through um, my library. I've already um, put, I put it on my wish list. So I'll um, take it out when it's closer to Book Tubathon. But I like sped through that book like No Tomorrow, and I feel like. Lila McCann books are just part of book two fun, so that's going to be my seventh book. We'll see. Um, since I am listening to it on audio and what I'm going to be doing while I'm off involves some actual manual labor, I might switch it up and have this be my hat book because I definitely wear hats when I'm doing that kind of stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far I get. Um, I'm nervous. I don't know if this is going to happen. I've never read seven books in a week. I'm really excited though. I'm really excited for all of these books. I can't wait to see other people's TBR piles. I can't wait to see um, what people do for the challenges. I'm not sure if I'll participate in the video challenges at all. Instagram ones might be a little bit more doable for me, but we'll see. I, you never know what Booktubeathon is going to bring. So be sure to um, leave a comment below if you're going to join in. Let me know. I would love to know what you plan on reading and what your plan is for the week. I'm super, super excited. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.